What's up y'all, Lang Whitaker here from Grind City Media and it's time for another Cooking with Lang. It's the holiday season. You got people at the house, you got friends and family over. What can you make to keep everyone happy and give them something to eat? Let's make gravlax. It's not really cooking, it's more curing with Lang, but it's easy, I can do it, you can do it. I'll teach you how, let's do it together. So what is Gravlox? It's basically cured fish. In our case, we're gonna do salmon. It used to be a way that people would preserve meat or fish and be able to keep it for a long period of time before refrigeration was so easy. Now it's basically just a way to make it taste delicious and it's pretty simple to do. The first thing you're gonna need is some beautiful salmon. The quality of your salmon will impact the quality of your Gravlox. So you rinse it, you pat it dry, and you set it off to the side and you get everything else ready to go. To cure our salmon, we need some salt and we need some sugar. Now there's all sorts of debates online about how much salt, how much sugar, whatever. I use a little bit more sugar than salt, probably like one and a half to one ratio, something like that. Some people go two to one, two and a half to one, three to one, whatever. So I've got about a cup of kosher salt right here. It's going in this bowl. Now I've got about a cup and a half of just plain white sugar. It's going in the bowl as well. To flavor our salt and sugar, we're gonna use fresh herbs, and I have this handful of fresh dill. Uh, dill is one of my favorite herbs. It smells earthy and a little bit kind of spicy and I don't know, pickly. So I've got this huge thing of dill, and I'm gonna just kind of roughly chop it. You don't have to be too careful with this, and I want all of it, stems and everything. All right. There's our salt, sugar, dill, curing mixture. You could also add some peppercorns, you could add coriander seeds, different herbs, thyme, whatever, but this is the way I like to do it. It smells unbelievably good right now and it looks almost like the new fallen snow. All right, our cure is ready. So step one is gonna be lay down a little layer of it on the bottom of this pan that we're gonna use to cure our salmon. All right, salmon's gonna go in, skin side down, on top of this, and just gonna make it all fit in this pan. I'll try to get it close together. Now I'm gonna cover the rest of the salmon with the rest of this cure. So the cure, not the band, is going to draw the liquid out of the salmon and uh, season it. So we're gonna cover this with some uh, cling wrap and put it in the fridge for a couple days. I'd probably do 36 hours, something like that. The one thing you could uh, do is, I don't know, every time you walk by the fridge, You'll see the liquid come out of it and it'll start to be some like liquid in the pan down around it. So every once in a while just kind of pick it up and give it a little shake like that, let the liquid sort of redistribute. But uh, that's it, we're done. Now it's gonna go in the fridge. Day and a half later, uh, through the magic of video, you're gonna see what it looks like. done, but we can't eat it yet. We gotta rinse off the salt and sugar that's still on the outside and all this liquid that's incredibly salty and delicious. We're gonna rinse it off, dry it off, and bring it back here and eat. The Gravlax is done and you can see like it's stiff. Um, it, it's kind of hardened up a little bit because of the cure. And now we're gonna slice it. And you wanna slice it on a bias to make thin slices like this. I mean, you can see how lovely that is right there. We're gonna cut off a couple of slices and then figure out what to do with them.
it's time to eat and you could just eat this straight off the, the cutting board. People are gonna come by, slice off a piece, keep it moving. Um, I'm gonna put it on a bagel with some cream cheese because I forgot to eat breakfast today. And having a big piece of salmon like this in your fridge um, is awesome because you can just, for the next week, week and a half, you got something to snack on. Um, I'm gonna put some red onions on there and a couple of capers because I like them. And uh, look, a little piece of dill too. Let's just throw that on there to make it pretty. I'm gonna take a bite now. Mm. Mm. The interesting thing is the salmon isn't too sugary or salty. It tastes like salmon. It's like a concentrated fish flavor. But the texture is really special. It's kind of chewy and almost like beef jerky, but not salty. But it's amazing. And it's incredible that we did that with what, three minutes of work? Leaving it in the fridge for a day and a half and you're done. This is so simple. I love making this, bringing it to my parents' house for the holidays. You can do this so easy. I showed you how. Let's do it together. This is Cooking with Link.